Coco, tell me. Coco, you have to tell me where the gems are. Come on, boy. Come on, tell me where the gems are. Good day, friends, and welcome to Escape room which is a game in roblox that is still in the alpha phase as you can see here but it is really awesome i love room escape game they're one of my favorite types of puzzle games to play uh, i have i was actually so excited that i already played a level i wish i recorded it but back then i just saw this game was like i have to try this so i already played one um in single player over here i played I completed this one. It is called the treasure cave. So I guess I'll just start with this one. I don't know. I didn't do this one. This one is called prison break. I guess I will just play it. Um, I hope this one is a little harder, but it was a, a lot of fun because I got 15 minutes to complete it and I completed it in about seven minutes. So a little less than half of the time I managed to complete this one. So I hope I can do as well with this one. But maybe this one will be harder and sometimes you just don't know what to do. That's just the case with these room escape games. I really like them. Let's just play. Let's just play and see what happens. There are also multiplayer versions. So maybe I will play it later in another video. Maybe some of you could join me or maybe during a live stream or something. That would be pretty cool. Okay, I've got 10 minutes. Hello and welcome to the escape room. In this room, you have 10 minutes with only one goal in mind. Escape from prison. And you don't even let me read the rest. Okay, thank you. Start now. Okay. Okay, take it easy. Okay, let's see what's under here. A, a handle. Okay. A handle. The door is locked. It needs a key. Okay, clear. Clear a candle. Oh, there's a key under the candle. Okay, we're out of here and done. No, okay. Wait, do I select the key? No, it's just not the right key, I think. 2 plus 5, local movement. 9 minus 5, rect rectangle. Aha, uh -huh, I have no idea. I have no idea. Must escape, it says here must escape okay do you think there's probably going to be a loose brick somewhere don't you think let's see can i pick up any of these um oh oh i can actually sit on the toilet oh did i use it ew it's yellow no, was it already yellow i don't know oh i can probably use the handle how do i use it i can put the handle on here then i can open it then i have a key wait can i get out already whoa i can already get out okay done oh no wait oh there's a chain there's a chain. I need to get this door unlocked. I do. Um, um, I got a chair. I d this doesn't look at all like the chair that I picked up. Oh, there's something here as well. A screwdriver. Maybe I can use that over here in the wall. Just thinking. Sturdy chair. Insanely sturdy chair. That's one sturdy chair. It is probably part of a code, but I haven't needed a code yet. So maybe when I need a code, I will understand what it means. This thing looks like it needs a code, but let's see. It's locked. I need a key. What happened to the other key? I had another key before that was under the candle. Did I use it for this thing? I probably used it for this then. Maybe I can use the screwdriver here. Okay, I used the chair and then I stood on it. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay, there's a square and three stars. I need something to cut the wires with if I want to cut the power. Why would I want to cut the power? Okay, this doesn't make any sense to me. I feel like it's not going to make sense. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Okay, it probably has to do with this. It probably has to do with this. Okay, let's see again. Show it to me again. Okay, so we have shapes here. No, wait, that's probably just what we saw over there. We saw first a square and then three stars. Yeah, yeah, it worked. Okay, I got this to cut the wires with okay okay can i cut the wires hi -ya! the power is down did the door have an electronic lock that is definitely not an electronic lock this is definitely unless you're talking about a different door also now i can barely see anything can i get a flashlight or something what's this the key is out of reach oh there's a key on here i didn't even see it i didn't even see it Maybe I can knock the key off. Maybe I, I... Okay, so I need to find something. Like the stick. Over here. And then I can knock off the key. Haha! -ha! And then I can use the key here. <gasps> I totally did it. Did I do it? I didn't even use the 
confusing code. Was that just to confuse me? To confuse me or... <laughs> okay, I did it. Let's see. So I did this one. I did this one. So then next up is... What is this? I hate Mondays. Okay, so when I get in, I'm instantly going to read what it says at the bottom because that text disappeared so fast the last times I played. Hello and welcome to the escape room in this room. 20 minutes to escape. You like, you like any reasonable person hate Mondays. And today your boss has locked you in. Find a way to fork. Come on, just give me time to read what it says. What if there was a clue that I needed? I, I already see something right here. Right here. How do I pick it? I see something down here, but... Am I going crazy? Okay, maybe I am going crazy. Okay, there are three plates here for some reason. And then there's a picture with things that are on the plates or something. It's a picture of my boss's favorite dog. The name tag says Coco. Okay, I'm going to guess that this one is harder because I have 20 minutes to escape. Okay, let's see. Stapler. Um... Nothing in there. Oh, key in there. Can I actually go in here? Click to enter code. Okay, there is a four letter code. Is there anything? I can just look. There's apparently... Oh, it's missing handles as well. Okay, so these drawers are missing handles as well. I have a key. But what do I have a key to? That's the question. Um, um, what do I have a key to? I have a key. What does this do? Okay, also a code. So I need two codes. Red, blue, yellow, green. Red, blue, yellow, green. But the code is not... Okay. Red, blue, yellow, green. Submit. Okay. That's not it. But these ones won't open. Oh, and I have a stapler. Maybe the stapler goes on this one. Oh, the stapler goes on the first one, apparently. Okay, so then the other one. Oh, it shows here. I didn't see the stapler. Okay, so it's stapler. And then here I need to put a mug that says I hate Mondays. And then there's a bow tie that I need to put here. So I need to find a bow tie. For some reason, I need to put objects there. Kind of reminds me of um, Bendy and the Ink Machine where you have to collect the random items. Wait, what happened? I can, I can sit down? Does it do anything? I can swear that there's something underneath this rug. But how can I... How can I get it? Red, blue, yellow, green. Is it like in the in the rainbow? Where red is the first one, yellow is the third one, a green is the fourth one, and blue is the fifth one. Right? So the code should then be one five three four? I don't know. One five three four. Okay, how about this one? One, five, three, four. Go. No? I don't know who then. I don't know. Um, I haven't really even looked at this. I have a key. I have a key for something. I have a key for a thing. This is what I mean with the typical escape room. Getting stuck means just that it takes forever. Like, I've already spent as much time as I spent in the last game just being stuck in this one. Is there anything behind it, maybe? Eh, no, just, just me. <laughs> just me. What happens when I don't complete the game within the time limit? What happens then? Do I... Um, do, can I just try again? I hate Mondays. Submit. No? Eh, no, oh, I'm so stuck right now. I'm so stuck. I'm so stuck. Wait a minute, the dog is called Coco. The dog is called Coco. The dog is called Coco. Oh my god, of course. Because that is a number code. But this, this one doesn't have to be a number code, of course. I was too focused on numbers. Okay, so we are in a new room. Cool, we got a cup. We got... Oh, there's just a stain left by the cup. Another, another four-digit code. No, leave me alone. Can you go off my screen, please? The bottom drawer is locked. I need a key. I have a key. Okay, this one, I just ripped it out. Where did the drawer go? I clicked it and it disappeared. Okay. Oh, oh, same thing. I just 
ripped it out. Red flowers, and there's four of them. So that m could mean that the first number in the code is red is four, right? Yellow is maybe the amount of stars. No, that's more than that's more than ten. What could this possibly be? What could this possibly be? Hmm. Okay, let's see. Oh, the code. There's just a code right here. I was doing complicated stuff. Okay, thirty twenty nine. Thirty. Is it this one? Thirty twenty nine. There's... Oh, I thought there was nothing. <laughs> what is... What is this? There's two rubies. I cannot even pick them up. Why are there rubies here? Okay, let's put the mug here. Maybe it does something. Probably not. I probably need the bow tie first. Oh, I see the bow tie. I see the bow tie. Okay, let's put the bow tie here. Oh, and that opens up this thing, which tells us the code for the door. It's a little complicated, but safe. Okay, safe as in probably in the safe. Note to self, the four digit exit code has one number for every color. Yeah, okay, so I was right about that. Okay, I'm happy I was right about that. The value of those numbers is equal to the number of corresponding colored gems. And the code is in the order left to right from the photograph. Okay, okay, so I was, I was actually doing pretty well then. Okay, I have absolutely no clue what to do with this picture. I don't know what it means. Oh, wait, maybe these things in the middle are also gems. Do you think they are gems? They look like they are just the middle of the flower, but maybe they are the yellow gems. Maybe the yellow number is four. Maybe. If I, I cannot find anything else that is yellow, then that is going to be my... Uh, that's, then I'm going to guess that that's what it is. Why can I not open these? Hmm. Um, um, you guys. <laughs> You'll need a key to open it. Where am I ever going to find a key? Was there really nothing else in the safe but two gems that I cannot pick up? Oh no, I don't know. How do I open these? It's always the case with these room escape games is that I'm so happy when I find a new room. I'm like, yay, found a new room. And then like three seconds later, I'm stuck again. Three seconds later. Coco, tell me. Coco, you have to tell me where the gems are. Come on, boy. Come on, tell me where the gems are. I don't know. I still think that there is something beneath the rug. But I'm not solving, I haven't solved it. I am utterly confused, okay? Utterly confused. I must be able to do it. I must be able to do it. Escape the escape room. There has to be something with, there's, there has to be something about the rug and something about the painting that I'm missing. There has to be, they are here for a reason. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. Wait, there's a little square here. What is this? <gasps> Oh, it opens! It opens! Oh my god, okay, 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 okay. It's the exact same painting here. Then we have some Robux. Wait, wait, wait! Yes, I found another number! The, num the green number is 8. The green number is 8. Okay, then here we have to do black, 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 black. This is from the other one. Oh, oh! Oh, I found a key and a yellow one! Oh, cool! Okay, so the n yellow number is 1. The green number is 8. The red number is two. Okay, so red is two, one, eight. Two, one, eight, and I just need the blue number. Two, one, eight. <gasps> I found the blue number at six. Two, six, one, eight. Two, six, one, eight. Why does it still feel like there's something I'm forgetting before I leave? Okay, you know what? I did it within the time. I, I wasn't as good as with the last one, but... I already forgot what it was. 2, 6, 1, 8, was that it? <gasps> I'm free! I hate Mondays, it isn't even Monday. Is it Monday? I don't actually, I haven't actually decided when I'll up upload this video, but... Maybe I should upload it on a Monday. So I just did Prison Break. I already did this one by myself. And then I just completed this one just in time as well. That one was fun. I like it when it's just in time. It is, because that just means it was really challenging. And I really love escape rooms. I really hate using walkthroughs and help sites and stuff like that. I really, really want to do it by myself. I just don't want to give up. Anyway, there's a school escape level. That's the next one. 
Keep calm and pretend it's not Monday. Wow, the maker of this game really hate, hates Mondays. <laughs> Math, mental abuse to humans. Okay, this is this one is what I will probably play next. If I will play this game, leave a comment telling me if I should play this game again. Um, then here we have the bank heist. Oh, that is really cool. Being stuck in a bank vault, probably. So being stuck in an underground expedition. Ooh. That is probably my favorite, but I have to beat more maps. So yeah, if if you do them in order, I think you unlock the l less uh, the last ones. But they are now all locked for me because I've only done f uh, three maps so far. Um, Escape Room Classic. I don't know what it is. Maybe th this was the first level that ever existed. It kind of looks like an, a hotel door, maybe? Or something like that? I don't really know. Then what is this? The Bedroom Escape. Ooh, I've played a lot of games where there were bedrooms to escape then we have the jungle escape that is cool insane asylum oh that one looks just scary that one is just scary probably oh there are so many levels i thought there were like four or five levels there's so many of them escape artist it looks like you're in like an art kind of building and you have to beat 11 or more maps so basically you have to beat all previous maps to unlock this one Oh, wow. So there are so many more maps than I thought there were. And it is only the alpha. Oh, I'm looking forward to playing them. Even if it's not on recording. I'm definitely going to complete this game. Even if you guys don't want me to play this anymore. Sewage scramble. You have to escape the sewers. Oh, what is this? 007 James Bond. Escape like a secret agent. Oh, that is cool. Okay, that is the last one. When I click next... It says uh, there isn't any more. Okay, so those are the single player ones. But I would actually like to also see what the multiplayer ones are. They are different. Yes, they are different. Lava Laboratory. Oh, wow. Then you have Meltdown. Oh, these are so cool. The Seven Seas. It's like if you're stuck on an island. Is that what it is? That would be so cool. But you have to play with multiple people. So tell me if you guys would like to play this with me. Maybe I could get someone in real life. Some friend to join me. And maybe we could play it together. That would be so much fun. Maybe I could get Alex to join me. Wait. Oh. Oh, there aren't more. Okay. So there's only a few. Yeah. There are no more than that one. There are no more levels uh, than uh, no more multiplayer levels, but that is still it's going to be so cool. But I don't think I want to play it with just a random bacon hair. I don't think you know because you never know who you get teamed up with. Someone who doesn't know who th what they're doing, or even worse, someone who knows exactly what they're doing and they've done it before and they're going to complete it within a minute, and then it would be absolutely no fun. So um, tell me if you want me to play this more, and otherwise I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to stomp. Like a dinosaur.